Yo 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 guys, what's going on? My name is Hacking is Freedom, and I am here to show you guys what you can do after you have activated your Xbox One console into an uh dev kit. So now the only thing that you want to do once you get the dev kit application, obviously, if you guys don't know where to get that, you just gotta sign into your account, which I have over here. Once you are signed into your account, all you gotta do is go to the Xbox One store. All the way over to the store, go to the apps, or even games, it does not matter. I'll just go to apps for now. Go to search. And then all you need to do is type in dev mode. Or right there, come up dev mode activation. And then it's right here. And you just want to click on that. And then you just want to go to download. So I obviously already have it. So that's already downloaded in my uh, my app section. So once that is downloaded, you can put it to your home like I did. Or you can just go down to your apps and launch it from there. So it's right here. So once it's downloaded and you have done everything else on your computer, there will be steps for that, guys. Don't worry. Um, and this this is not free. This does uh, require you to have $20. Um, I don't think payment really matters. It could be PayPal, bank, um, credit cards, whatever. But yeah, it does require $20 for the individual use of the, um, the dev kit. So basically, once you have all that set out on your computer, you'll come back to the application, and it'll be like this. So what you want to do is to click Switch and Restart. So now the Xbox One will restart. Okay, so once your Xbox has loaded back up, it should take quite a while. It should take around 2-3 to three minutes for your console to fully reset. So, uh, don't get a little, you know, don't get scared if, uh, if it's not resetting right away. Because it does indeed take a little bit. So now what you guys want to do is just go down to the, right after I turn on my controller. Okay, you can either go down or you can go over to the, uh, dev home right there. So I'm just going to show you guys quickly what the, uh, I guess, the uh, developer version of the dashboard looks like. So as you see right here, I'm not signed into an account. And plus, I do have my um, external hard drive in, but as you see, it doesn't show any games, nor does it show apps. These are all the standard apps. So just keep that in mind. You won't be able you know, to tweak any games, per se. So also you guys have to have a wired connection in order to do some of this stuff. Well actually to do all of it on the uh, development uh, dashboard. So as you see it says right down there connect to Xbox Live. But you got to do that once you put in a uh, I guess a wired connection from the back of your computer to your PC. After you've done that, you should have complete internet access on your Xbox One. So now you obviously have some other features like Cortana. Cortana's in here. We also have other development settings that are uh, right here at the top. So we have developer home and uh, developer settings. In developer settings, you see right here, this is just the, uh, I guess, other developer settings, the uh, miscellaneous developer settings, if you will. Um, as you see, developer mode is activated. That is your sandbox ID. Uh, clear access key is for the, I guess, remote uh, development. The SDK kit that I actually have on my channel that got leaked a little bit. It's stuff for like that. Also, Microsoft Visual Studio and stuff like that. So if your console did come with an access key, you can just clear it right there. You can reset your home console, show your frame rate, delete dump after upload, full crash dump, which I normally keep it on. You can also enable profiling for OS titles, which I have enabled. This should this should um this should be unchecked by default, but if you want to check it on like I did, you can. And um, our our certificate type is the SRA Dev Kit, and all of our stuffs over there like our kernel version, our shell version. Our DR0 and our console and tools IP should be different once you connect to online. But as you see, uh, my console IP is 0 and my tools IP is my standard home address. So like I said, once you connect to, um, I guess, Xbox Live and you actually have your console online, that will change to your console's IP. 
And then right here is the dev home. You can uh, rename a few things. And um, so you can you can add test accounts right here. You can check the status of Xbox Live once you have that connected. You can change your host name like I did. Mine is changed to test Xbox One. Uh, there's your sandbox ID. You guys can change this. Like I know there's been a lot of other sandboxes that have been leaked. But those still really shouldn't matter because the ones that have been leaked are all locked and it's still locked to that specific account that has the access so um if you guys really want to fiddle around with this you can but like i said do that at your own risk see like i just deleted mine <laughs> but do that at your own risk because like i said there's no guarantee if your console's even going to be working after you fuck with this so i suggest not to touch it And, um, like I said, this is for developers and people that are interested in developing. So, I mean, if you don't know anything about this type of stuff, you this really isn't for you because you should definitely not be on this. Anyways, so we got some more information there. We got our OS version. We got our dev kit type, which is the Universal Windows App Dev Kit, or UW... Yeah, sorry. Or UWAD. Uh, we got our console ID, we can restart the console, and we can leave developer mode. We also have the re remote management, so we can also connect to certain things, like up here, the Visual Studio. We can pair with Visual Studio, which you do need in order to develop your apps. So you need to connect to a Visual Studio on either your PC or laptop, whatever your Xbox is currently hooked up to for internet. That will be the PC that you need for Visual Studio. Once you do that, you can click pair with Visual Studio. You'll have a code like this. Obviously, it'll be different because codes, actually these codes uh, like swap pretty fast. Like I think it's after, I think if you leave the screen up for five minutes, it'll actually switch to another code. So yeah, it'll be a code like that. So yeah, there's, there's a whole bunch of new ones. There's just whole bunch so yeah once you get that code pair that up with Visual Studio and then you can uh, be on your way to developing other than that there's really nothing else here you guys really need to know it's just pretty much that straightforward and everything else is done like coding on all that all that is done on the Visual Studio on the PC so all coding is actually done on the PC and like I said you can add your accounts here like I have my test accounts this one just click it and that'll sign in. But like I said, I don't have my uh, wired connection set up right now, so I won't be doing that. If you want to click this up here, this little, um, I guess, three bar button, you can add a background image. You can also change the theme and provide feedback. So I normally put the theme on uh, Seafoam Teal, which I look, I think looks really nice. So yeah guys, that's basically it. That's all you really need to know about the new Xbox One dev kit features. Obviously this is still a preview, so like it's like a beta. So there's obviously going to be stuff changing in the future when they finish, well like, when they finally finish it I guess. Because uh, some people were saying that this is like the full dev kit, like this is what we're going to get. And uh, like those people are just bullshitting you because that's not true. This is basically a preview, so it's a beta. This is just basically the first looks at what the Xbox One can do if you swap it to a dev kit. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't be afraid to smack that like button down below. Subscribe if you guys are new. And remember, comment if you guys have any problems. I'm always there to help you guys. Alrighty, peace out.